Hey bookworms, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do something a little different and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite ways to get new books, book exchange parties. Now, I know what about you, but all these words sound great to me. Unfortunately, not a lot of people know about this concept. It's really great, it's fun. You can do it not only with books. I've been to a few clothes exchange parties. You can do games exchange party, baby stuff, whatever you want. So essentially, the idea is that you create an event and I think the best way it works is if you invite your friends and you tell them to invite their friends and so you get to meet a bunch of new people. So before arriving, each person go through their bookshelf, declutter a little bit, choose which book they don't want anymore and they want to get rid of and they just bring them to the party. All the books are laid out somewhere and you just choose which books you want to take with you home. Think about it. It doesn't cost you anything. You get to meet new people, you get new books, you get a really nice way to get rid of your books. And all the books that at the end of the part just stay there will be donated to a library or something like that. So you're also responsibly getting rid of books. It's a win-win situation. Also, something that I thought about after my latest book exchange party is that it's a psychological thing, but I think you are, you are more likely to get a new book in a book exchange party that you've never thought that you will buy at the store. Think about it. The first psychological effect is that I think at least that if you know that your books are going to a new home instead of just a collection bin somewhere, you're more likely to get rid of them because you know that somebody else will read them and they will not just be landfill. Secondly, about the new book that you never thought of trying, when you go to the store and you actually have to spend your hard-earned money on a book, you're more likely to have a safe choice. You know, go for a genre that you already know, or a series, or an author that you already read them, or a book that was highly recommended for someone you trust. At least with me, it will be like that. But when I know that I don't have to spend any money on it, I can take a risk and choose a book that I never thought that I would usually get, something new, I will experiment, and worst case scenario, I can always exchange it in the next party. Just recently, I received in one of those exchange parties uh, a book by Mikhail Bulgakov, who wrote Master and Margarita, and I never thought that I would read another thing by him. I also got two books that are both a collection of short stories, and if you know me, you know that I absolutely hate short stories, but I want to give them another chance. So one of them is by Alice Munro, who's supposed to be really, really great with short stories, and the other book is about Chinese short stories, and I really love reading about other cultures. So eventually, yeah, it's a great thing. What are you waiting for? Go and arrange a book exchange party in your community. I don't know where you're from, but where I'm from, Facebook is still a thing and it's a great way to kind of organize events and just, you know, meet new people, go outside a little bit, and most importantly, find a great way to keep the cycle going of not hoarding every single book that you ever owned and getting new stuff and being exposed also to old books, which is something that in this channel I really like. I don't always read the newest books. I don't see a reason always to read the newest books. Sometimes you might find a gem and I just love it. If you love going through secondhand bookshops and just fighting hidden treasures and such. You will love the concept of book exchange parties. So that's it guys. I just wanted to share this concept with you. It's a lot of fun and unfortunately a lot of people just don't know the thing exists. So write down in the comments below if you ever arrange anything like that. What was your impression? What is your favorite way to get new books? It doesn't just involve going to the stores or online and just ordering and buying books. And that's it for this short video. I really hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumb up to show you care. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you dare and click also the bell icon so you'll get notification whenever I upload a new video, which is anyway every two weeks on Friday, in case you didn't know. Yeah, I have a life, unfortunately, so I can't upload every single week, but at least I'm punctual in uh, Friday every two weeks. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I really hope you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.